This is our camp spot last night, pretty decent. It was really quite clear last night and the uh, sky was, well midnight it was still blue sky, it was pretty amazing. Cold. Cold, windy, no, no, ticks, no, no midges, midges and no ticks. And the wind's just picked up now and it's high cloud and quite a nice day really. So. Best what? night's sleep I've had on the entire trip by far. It's all good really. I should sleep under pylons more frequently. <laughs> So, see what today brings. So, heading off for another day. I think it's day, day eight, is it? Good yeah, it is. Yeah, six, seven, eight. This is our camp spot. I have no idea. Um, for all the guys in the Wild Camping UK, there's no trace, and our tents were down by 10. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day, you can see the mountains in the far distance quite a lot of snow on them. Fighter jet, aeroplane. Something coming our way. Oh yeah, there's that little helicopter. So we're just leaving our campsite for the night. Get back on the road. That was an enjoyable place to camp last night. As you can see, it's dry, it's pretty sunny. Nice breeze to keep the midges away. So positive for a good day. Just heading down to this lock to fill up the water bags and filter some water for the day. So this is the daily routine of finding a water source and filling up the bags and doing some filtering. Sometimes these bags are a bit difficult to fill up, but not too bad today. I do. That's one. This is the daily routine. Find water and filter it. So we're water's done on the way. The only slight bummer is my rear cassette is loose. So we're gonna have to try and get that tightened somewhere. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, the rear cassette's making that horrible grindy noise when it's just touched loose. I expect Ross tightened it up as much as he could, but just sometimes it needs a tweak afterwards. So, I had a little climb for the morning, and now we've got a descent. Always welcome. Awful. Quite a rough bit of the trail at the moment. Rougher than we've had for a while. Oh, it's a bit better. That was a really rocky mile or two. This is better. Don't shake the bones out of your body. So we've been following this pipe all the way down from the top guessing it's water, either hydro or drinking. Quite an impressive feat of engineering. Just come to this dam, this reservoir. It looks incredibly low at the time of year. But we're thinking maybe they're doing maintenance on it. Exciting stuff, we have another dam to go across and have a look at. Always good to see a dam. Dam riding. You have to go to the end. How oh, awesome! Should we take one of these home? This is, oh, it's a route, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
Amazing. I'm standing in the middle of it. Look at that. Very cool. Trying to decide what piece to take with me. It's really a very interesting wood. I'll stick it in your backpack. All right. <laughs> this is an interesting bit. Everything's really rotting. So this would be well below the water level normally. Graveyard for the Ents. To come down to the edge. Look. I guess normally, if I was crouched here, I'd be under 30 foot of water. So this is Orin Dam, Loch Orin. That's a lovely beach on the left. It's really fine silt. All graded. Oh. That's very cool down there. So we're leaving uh, Orin Dam. It's been quite interesting. Oh, another load of wood down there. So we're leaving Loch Orin behind. This is a very weird road. We keep seeing deer feet strewn along it. We've seen three. We're just look, waiting for the fourth one now. Mind you, yesterday we saw three badgers cross the road in front of us. So maybe good things come in threes. And three badgers are lucky, and three deer legs are lucky. Well, I wonder where the head is. Yeah. You go down the bottom and those two guys are there with their deer heads on, <laughs> like doing some sort of ritual. There's a wicker man at the bottom. Yeah. A great bridge. Great river. Oh yeah. Well, we're hunting for lunch now. Before we go into the wilderness. Zadia. Uh, Rhododendron. Humongous log. Go on, count the rings. <laughs> uh, 6,300. Hmm. Didn't expect that. No. Well, that was an unexpected ground spot. Yeah. So it's a bit of a meeting point for people doing the trail. All right. See you later, guys. Good luck. Yeah. Might see you. Yeah, these guys are heading north as well, and the lad over there has come from London, so it's putting us to shame a bit, really. He's 18 days into it. Right. If we happen to diverge route, absolutely. Well done. Enjoy. Good luck, guys. Good luck, come on. See ride. you later. That was an interesting little stop. For most people we've met on the whole trip doing the uh, the same route as us. I'm sure, we'll see them at some point. Right, we're off the main road from hell that gave me a puncture. So it's raining now. Midges are out a little bit. We're just trying to find a campsite in. I don't know. About five or seven miles or so. That's very yellow. Quite a nice track actually. Yeah. 
I guess you've got to keep your spirits up, haven't you, and see the funny side of everything. But Jesus, this trip is, uh, just seems like a few things have gone wrong, really, especially on the bike side. Uh, but then I suppose you've got to stay positive. Just hope uh, everything holds on until the end now, really. What kind, of mower do you, what kind of mower do you drive? Ah, oh, General Wade. It'll be a tank, basically, with a flare alarm <laughs> off the side of it. Flamethrowers on both sides, just burning it down. It's quite an impressive bridge. Yeah. So we're just about to cross the bridge of Garve, over the falls of Garve and in, the river Garve. In Strathgarve. In Strathgarve. Garve, you should be here. This is another one of those, like, really, really green places. River Garth, Bridge of Garth. Ah, oh, the bridge builders. Rocks of Garth. Look out for adders. Okay. Oh, if there is one around, it'll bite me probably. Oh, God, of course. <laughs> Gotta stay ahead of Dave. Yeah. Just stay about 100 foot ahead, and then anything that attacks me, will, you'll be okay. There'll probably be some bear that's gonna come out and grab me. We're taking our life into our hands. Well done, mate. I think oh, we made it on the A road without a disaster. 60 meters without a puncture. Yay! So we're on the climb, last climb of the day. Gonna camp somewhere up here in a minute. Just never know what's gonna happen next. Unfortunately, we're back on the main A road again for a couple of miles, I think. Um, should be it then. For a while. Well, we hadn't intended to, but we saw a, a pub and we stopped some food. So, all the food we bought earlier, we don't really need right now. Matt's rucksack weighs about 50 kilos, all in food. So, uh, just a couple of miles from campsite now, I think, somewhere up on the right. Uh, we just got to find the track, turn off, and then just find anywhere, really. So it's starting to get a bit late. So, uh, another decent day. Done 40 plus miles, I think, today. Which is good for us. So, uh, yeah, see what uh, tomorrow brings. Thank you.